a Telebyte video. Welcome to a demonstration of IEEE's 802.3CG 10-base T1L compliance testing using 2.4 volts peak-to-peak -peak and test mode 2. This demo will feature Analog Devices Evaluation Board and Ethernet Phi evaluation software, along with Telebyte's Digital Analyzer, Probe, and software. The equipment and software in this demonstration will allow you to identify problems, analyze transmit output voltage droop, perform repeatable testing, see clear pass-fail results, and also generate printed reports with graphs. The equipment and software in this demonstration includes analog devices EVAL ADIN 1110EBZ EVM Evaluation Board, analog devices Ethernet Phi Evaluation Software, Telebyte's 4975 Digital Analyzer and Software, as well as Telebyte's 4975 P01 Probe for signal capture. This setup can test with 1.0 volts peak-to-peak -peak and 2.4 volts peak-to-peak. -peak. It can also test with test modes 1, 2, or 3. Let's take a look at the devices and software we'll be working with today. In the bottom left-hand corner, we have our Analog Devices Evaluation Board. This board receives its control and power via a USB connection that goes to the Telebyte 4975 Digital Analyzer, which is loaded with Telebyte's 500 software, as well as analog devices Ethernet Phi evaluation software. The evaluation board is also connected to the Telebyte 4975 P01 probe via an adapter cable from a three-terminal SPE screw connector to an RJ45 connector. The probe also has a 100 ohm termination on the front, and from the back, it is connected to the digital capture card that is installed in the digital analyzer. In order to enable USB power on the ADI evaluation board, do the following. At P5, connect a USB cable. At P4, jumper pins 3 and 4. Next, we need to connect the probe to the 4975 digitizer card. This is done by using an SMA to SMB cable, which is connected to the digitizer card and also to the back of the 4975 P01 probe. Then we need to set the attenuation to 0 dB. This is accomplished by manually sliding the red switch on the probe to 0 dB. Let's take a look at the software in action. We will be testing the analog devices 10 base TUNL Phi, the ADI N 1110, the Mac Phi. It's got an integrated Mac, so integrated web server with DHCP. And we're going to test in test mode two uh, with a 2.4 volt peak to peak operating mode. You'll see we have termite running here and I'm connected to the analog devices eval dash ADIN 1110EVC board. And you see the information here. So what we'll do is uh, you can basically communicate to the device here. Hands to it. So what we'll do is I have a note sheet here to put it in a proper mode. We're gonna put it in test mode two. So First of all, we're going to enter software power down. A phi read command to make sure that we are ready in a software power down mode. Then we'll disable auto negotiation. Next step is to enable a forced mode. Then we want to write this 4000 value into register 0108F as in Frank 8. And this will generate a test mode 2 signal so that we can measure our transmitter output voltage droop.
we've entered the commands here, so we're uh, we're done talking to the analog devices FIMAC under that's under the, the device under test. And if we open up the Telebyte 500 series software now, you'll see that I'm in test mode two, and this is 10 ones followed by 10 negative one signals um, using the three level pulse amplitude modulation. You'll see this is our frequency domain view. We have the horizontal axis in frequency. So this is 25 megahertz here, 2.5 times 10 to the seventh. And in the Y axis, we have our power spectral density, our amplitude in dBm per hertz. So what we'd like to do then is take a capture of this test mode two transmit pattern. And we're gonna use the Televite 500 series signal analysis software to do that. So we're gonna store this uh, file. We're going to sample at 500 million samples a second. We're going to take a two second capture and we'll use channel one and we'll use DC coupling with 100 ohm load impedance. We'll set the digitizer range to plus or minus 2.5 volts and the attenuation on the probe is set to zero dB. So we'll hit the start. And this will capture the test mode signal with our probe that's connected to our digitizer. We have our the analog device's eval board connected to the probe with a 100 ohm termination on the other side. Now we can do our signal analysis. So you see on the lower left hand corner here, we have our time domain view, and then we do an FFT on that signal to get the frequency domain, and then we have statistics on the lower right hand side. So I can zoom into our test mode two signal in the time domain by holding the left mouse button down and drawing a rectangle over it. And so here's our test mode two signal. So let's zoom in a little bit more. And what the droop test is doing, you have a zero level here. So it's taking this zero crossing and then it's waiting 133 nanoseconds from that zero crossing and measuring the voltage here. So I'm not precise here, but it's probably somewhere around there from the zero crossing. And then they go 800 nanoseconds from that zero crossing. And what you do is you mark the voltage peak at this point and this point, and you calculate what the droop is. This is 10 negative ones in a row. And then they do the same thing with the zero crossing on the positive peak, something similar to that. But it's a little bit hard to do it manually. You have to get the right timing and everything. So what I do is I run a test report here. We can load the test report. And you see the Televite 500 series test reports have the 802.3CG standard and also the Ethernet APL advanced physical air standards to generate reports and different run automated tests results. So the manufacturer's analog devices, I have the model here as an eval dash ADIN 1110EBZ. And we're in operating mode 2.4 volt peak to peak, and I'm going to load that test mode 2 signal up. And then we'll generate the test report here. So you see we open up the PDF viewer, and this is the Televite test report. And we can scroll through to uh, here's the, the test information, our software version, the, the standard that we're using for pass and fail criteria, and our serial numbers of the Televite devices. And then we'll go to the output voltage droop here. And you see, I just ran the report transmitter output droop, 2.4 volts peak to peak, it has a 10% limit. And that's maybe changing actually to, we may be using the IEEE 802.3DD standard, and this may change to 25% for some testing for a cost reduction for the 10 base T1L5 setup with, with a lower cost inductors. But you see the droop we measured on the positive side was 4.5%, and on the negative peaks we saw 4.6%. So that is definitely under the 10% limit. So we have a passing value. And as I mentioned before, here are the precise points that are used from the zero crossing and from this positive zero crossing here. And that is the report then uh, for the test mode two transmitter output voltage droop.
Thank you for watching this demonstration today. Here are other videos that you'll find in this series. We would be happy to provide you with more information. Please go to TelebyteSPE.com to learn more, or you can send an email using sales at TelebyteSPE.com.